Rastafari, and I, and I. Well, my friends, this is it. Our epic Jamaican journey is coming to a close. Now that you've seen our island, met our people, get an understanding of our culture, I wanted to do something special for this last episode. So I invited my son Nika to walk this final steps of this odyssey with I. For the first time ever, I'll take you to Spanish Town, the place I grew up in. There we're gonna discuss humble beginnings and some childhood memories with my son. Then I'll take you to the Touchdown Project, an association aiming to help the kids through football, where we'll meet Nicole and Zachary, the founders, to better understand their mission. And since football is a common passion with Nico and I, we'll share some of our love for the game with the boys. And of course, I could not end the series without showing a liquor party at the house, all my extended family, all the great people whom I have been blessed to, to share part of my journey with. My name is Rohan Marley. I was born in Jamaica, but I've lived most of my life in America. The truth is, the moment you step foot in Jamaica, man, there's something special about this place. The food, the people, the culture. A taste of Marley is a journey around Jamaica. I'll make you discover the spirit and the beauty of my country. Family is the most important thing to us. Our father left us at a young age, but when I look at my brothers and sisters, Sharon, Sedella, Ziggy, Stephen, Robert, Karen, Stephanie, Julian, Kimani, and Damien. I see my father. I see his purpose and his principles alive in each and every one of us. His music is a blessing. My father's words relieve me of all stress, all pain, all worry, all loneliness, all, all weary self, anything to do with weakness, negativity. My father's words empowers me every day of my life. So he's always around. Ever present. And that ever presence is the foundation that allows I to share his teachings, my teachings, with my children. I look at my children, I look at Nico, Eden, Sailor, Joshua, John, Zion, Sarah. I see a better me, a greater me. I'm on my way to pick up one of them, my first son, Nico, a talented football player and a skillful entrepreneur. So of course he's the one that will continue to learn. I don't need to work anymore after he gets a certain age. I want to go live on a farm or do something like that. I want to be more stable, you know, stationary. You know, I can eat from the land and just provide for myself, like farm to table vibes. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So I'm taking Nico to the place where... The little boy that he doesn't know of. Because my children, they see me as a lion. They see me as strong all the time. But strength doesn't come from just, you don't bond strong, you know? You have to grow strong. So it's important for them to uh, understand the beginnings. Understand the beginnings, the back of their roots, too. You must you have to know your roots because you have to know the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Look, bumpy, but you know, it's cold, huh? This road from the airport to Kingston is what I miss most about Jamaica when I travel. The sun, the air, the sea. Everything makes me feel like home. And I wonder how Nico feels when he returns home. Natural, you know? It's like you couldn't be anything, but there's everything, you know what I mean? You come in, you feel the culture already so as you land, you know? No fake. It's Jamaica. It's home. You get a different vibe when you reach. It's like when you got home for a while. You get home, you close the door, you feel, you know, you're in your sanctuary. That's the whole country, you know? <laughs> Irie. So we'll be on our way to Spanish Town right after making a quick stop for an idle breakfast at the House of Dread. Some idle food and blah. A place where my father used to eat after playing soccer. This is where all the master football is played. This is Alan Skillcoal. Pay me, I'll play. <laughs> Original day. This is House of Dread side. Pierre Astaman. Yeah, the gang support this side. It's still Jersey. Line of Judah. Oh, dearie, nothing with eyes. Before Began existed, Aital was here. And Aital is still here. Come to us at any camp and Aital food. Spanish Town, here we come. First stop, the open land. Show you where I play soccer. I hope it's still there. And now we cut through this walkway to get to the train line. They used to tell me, long cut draw sweat, short cut draw blood. <laughs> oh, man, look at it. The feel is still there. <laughs> Every single day, it was just like this. Hasn't changed one bit. 
I played football here. And you know what I used to play here? Cricket. I mean, cricket. So, I was the only one with a ball, a cricket ball. Mm. And my grandmother, her friend, played cricket for metal box. So they'd give me a ball. But when we didn't have a ball, we used to use green limes. <laughs> so we have to have a lot of them because you swat it. Fuck! And then again, we play soccer right here. Everything. When it wasn't a lot of us, we play solid kick. Dangerous, man. Chick in your body. Your chick, you man, push the ball, chick in your ass, and those things. <laughs> Hey, this is where it started, man. I used to think about the Black Lions, the Spanish Town soccer team. Actually, I never had any concept of sports playing professional level at all. I never knew there was money involved in sports at that time. I used to just play because I loved it and I wanted to play. Instead of walking around, right? Yeah. But why they used to say shortcut? Um, yeah, because yeah, this is, <laughs> this is called a maca. And these used to live in my feet because I'm walking barefoot. So this is the blood they used to tell you about. <laughs> so you end up walking around like <laughs> I did. Too much blood. I got in a lot of trouble around here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got a lot of trouble right here. So this is across from my yard here. It wasn't like this before. This space used to be a garage. And I used to come over here and try to work on the trucks. <laughs> I thought I was gonna work in the garage. <laughs> Hello. A bunny outside of here. Rowan. Who's a Janet son? <laughs> oh gosh! It's good to see you. Oh, you're strong, you. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ruan, how would that? Is this your first time here? Yeah. No. Only your friend is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not telling me though. Yeah, me and Janet think what? I should have told you, man. Just a pass, my mama. Yeah. I'm just passing by. And just healing up with my good neighbors. <laughs> All right, Mama. Take care. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no. I used to so glad to see you all. When you're about to me show you. <laughs> Rowan. Yes, brother. I noticed something here in Spanish town. Yeah. Everywhere you go, you're Bob's son, but when you hear you're Janet's son. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Spanish son. Yeah. They really know me. After the break, childhood memory. Come inside. Today is a special day, the last one of our journey. We're in Spanish Town, and for the first time ever, I'm giving my son Nico a tour of my childhood. After showing him where I used to play ball... Welcome to your daddy's home. I'm taking him to my mother's house. This is... <laughs> this is where I... Grew up most of my Jamaican life. Yes, sonny boy. It's more built up now, as you can see. But with just one half, this the first half. This was added later on. So this is the first car I ever bought my mother. We had some money. And the first money I ever had, I bought to this car. This is my mother's car. The first money I ever received. Let me show you my room, where I used to sleep. This, uh, yeah, right. cool. yeah, 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 good. Yeah. Yeah. And then this thing, this thing here, this used to be a full glass. And because I got in a fight with an old man, not an older man, an older guy than me, he was messing with my girlfriend. He threw a stone from outside and he broke the glass. And my grandfather is a carpenter. He never replaced the glass, so he put this board. So that's been there. You know? Let me show you my little room. Oh, yes. Well, the place changed up a little bit. Come inside. So this has always been here. It's an old picture. This is my granny's room. And this is where I used to live. This little room here. Oh, hey there. <laughs> All right? This is my little cousin. This is Nico. Your cousin, too. <laughs> so of course, some rooms have been added. But this was it. It was that room, and this room was the whole house, two rooms. This was my room with, with um, four people. Yeah. So this room, one bed on this side, one bed on that side. I still have my little guitar in there. So this is my little room here. Not my room, but this is where I share with my cousins. This was not here. This is all added on. Kitchen was here. So the house stopped here when I live here. Two rooms. Right, Tony? Yeah, man, that's right. Yes. So all these uh, old pictures you see here, it's been here since I was a child. 
Like this picture was here since I was a child. That like, picture was there. These pictures here since I was a child. All these crazy people, I don't know who they are. But I used to always wonder who these people were. This is my granny. It's Mrs. Doreen Hunt. This is her house where she lived. And this is my this is my auntie and my mother. Yeah. yeah. So you know, son? Mm. <laughs> you know? I said, God. Yeah, man. Last time you came here? Last time I came here, maybe. I don't remember. I haven't been here in a long, long time. It's been a long time since I came here. A lot of souvenirs, eh? Yeah, I don't have any. What is whatever? But it's a part of my existence, you know? Mm. Part of my life. Mm -hmm. I live. Uh, still here. Still exist. You know? Still mother, still alone in the place, family. Mother's side. This is my mother's side. Mm. Yeah. Mother's side don't have much. No, I need to on me. So, this is it. Come on, sonny boy. Daniel? I'll see you later. Can you try dinner? I don't can you really describe it, you know what I mean? It's like but you you see you see how you see how he move, he moved like that for a reason. You know what I mean? Come here and kinda show that where he come from and and why he, why he, you know what I mean, just in the stories here, you know what I mean? Just, you put them in, it's just reality now, you know? It's like, it ain't nothing, it's something I always heard about, it ain't nothing I've ever been, ever seen. So it's real. Hello. <laughs> what going on, auntie? <laughs> Stop true. <laughs> yeah, auntie. <laughs> 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 no, I look grand, auntie. <laughs> Still young. Still young and fiery. You're <laughs> my All right, auntie. All right. Yeah. All right, Ratty. All right, yeah, all right, everyone. Nice to see you. Yeah, all. good, good. Well, that was something. I think we need to drink to cheer up this moment. Let's stop by the store my mom used to own. Enjoy the vibe a little and see if any of my childhood friends are around. Come on, boss. <laughs> 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 Are you son? Yeah, we're son. Okay, brother. Good man. 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 Yeah, you see how slow the train going? I hop this and hop off. <laughs> As a little boy, on it. <laughs> yeah, come out of the way there. Out the road, come out the road. Oh, God. Yes, you know me, I look fine in gym. Yeah, this is my friend from day one. Yeah, right. man. I'm a son, that's the name. Nika, yeah. men and money are fight every day. <laughs> Every day we fight. Not just him. How much are you going to fight? Oh, oh. No, for we, man. Three, one time. I got to fight three of them one time. 
Normally, Sheldon is the only friend I have that doesn't give trouble. Yeah, I'll, I'll this one is a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> they all, they all of my friends. They from trouble. All of them troublemakers, yeah. and I'm a troublemaker too. Yeah. <laughs> it was a blessed morning in Spanish Town. I give thanks that my son got to share this experience with me. Yes, man. Ah, fine. When we return, we're taking you to the Touchdown Project, so stay tuned. After we visited my past in Spanish Town, we're back in Kingston to play football with the kids from the Touchdown Project, and we have a couple of surprises for them. The first one, a little something to eat. You know, after football, they're gonna get hungry, so came to Sugar and Spice, my guy's Roger's place, to get them some Jamaican patties. Hi, I want to order some patties. 200. <laughs> 200 beef patties? Um, can you do half and half? 100 beef and 100 chicken? Yes, ma'am. Sure. And you know what? I'm going to play some football. I'm going to do the rest of this. See? <laughs> hey, brother. Thank you. Hooking us up. You always come through for us. <laughs> you know that. See? Thank you, brother. Yes, okay. Sugar and spice make it feel nice. <laughs> now that Roger is taking care of the patties, let's go to Jamaica College. Giving back to the community and helping kids build and achieve their dreams is an absolute must. Nico and I were both professional football players, so it was important for us to visit the Touchdown Project, one of the charities for which I am an ambassador. So while we're setting up the field to run some drills, we're just setting up for drills. Nicole and Zachary will tell you more about the vision and the mission behind this project. All right. My name is Nicole Burge. I'm the founder and executive director for the Touchdown Project. Uh, my role is essentially to, to be the visionary and the one that puts forth all the pieces in place to roll out the project on the island. My name is Zachary Harding. I'm a director of the Touchdown Project. And my role is to make sure that everything that Nicole wants gets done in Jamaica. <laughs> Hey, run through it, don't just stop. Run, just run, just Let's run. Let's keep running. Ball. Quarterback gonna get you the what? ball. What? Who is this guy? All right, really, come, come, quick, quick. What? So first and foremost, I am a cancer survivor 11 years ago, and that really is the genesis of why we are here today. Um, so in going through cancer, I decided that I would accelerate what God had put on my heart to do, which was to give back to, to the world. And the first stop would be Jamaica, since I was born here, and to kids in particular. So when I looked to Jamaica, I said, what do Jamaican kids have to offer that the rest of the world would want to create opportunities for them? And naturally, I think we've earned some currency in that we're known as the fastest people in the world. They're supremely athletic, but the reality is that there are just not enough avenues of opportunities for them to use their athleticism to get off the island. And so, as I looked on one hand to Jamaica and I say, here's this pool of athletes, naturally, without enough opportunities, how do I create an avenue that would want that athleticism? And so a marriage with American football in particular, who's the largest beneficiary of scholarships in the U.S., just seemed to make sense to me. My goal was just to break the barrier, to allow the sport to come to the island and to really create opportunities for young kids on the island to better themselves. You see my leg? Just one step. <laughs> Nicole contacted me and told me about this ridiculously crazy idea to bring American football to Jamaica. I thought she was a little bit nuts, but when she explained everything, it made total sense. So I wanted to be able to help being from Jamaica, having played sports in Jamaica at the high school level, to do anything that I could to be able to allow kids the opportunity to further their education through sports. So we've worked very closely with the Ministry of Education and with the Ministry of Sport and directly with the Prime Minister to try and bring this game to Jamaica. We selected schools that we thought would be a good fit for the game, that we thought had both the athletic ability in the boys as well as they were still good students because it is a student-athlete program. So the whole idea is to give the kids a chance to get scholarships to go away to school to further their education. It's not like a pro league that we're starting. It's about getting them opportunities to further themselves. Just to give you an example of the excitement, when we announced in March, we came to Jamaica and we announced with the government our partnership to the island, there's this one kid who had traveled to South Carolina and saw a game on TV and fell in love with the sport. And he just heard that the Touch On Project, American football, was coming to Jamaican schools. 
and he prayed that we would select his school. He wrote to his principal, he wrote to the Minister of Education, all on the hopes that we would select his school. So as luck would have it, we did select his school. And he galvanized 30-something boys, and they've been training since March on their own until we get here, until the program starts. They get up every morning and they work out. So I want to just shout out to Daniel, who is a phenomenal example of what prayer and determination and passion for something, he's a great leader. I think we get a treat and the boys get a treat because they actually get to see Rowan Marley and Nico. Rowan, by the way, is uh, an ambassador for the program. We consider him to be our um, poster boy for the program because he's someone who learned the sport late as a Jamaican kid, moving to America, and did exceptionally well. Uh, we're excited. And I think if more people gave back and got involved, it would make a really big difference for the kids in Jamaica. But keep me in front of you, but. Don't stand your back, but when I turn, you turn and run with me, okay? Aren't you guys football players talking about? I didn't know I was you. Are you coming like that? I was slowing down. You know he's a little bit. My eyes on No, no, no. Oh, my watch must have cut you. Oh, okay. So you gonna play for real? <laughs> We're real football players here. Go over there and you're on, you're Oh, we're on offense? <laughs> now we have the same scar. Coming up, <laughs> I got the yellow team, Nika got the green team. Now let's see who's the best. Break, hut, hut. We're back in Kingston with the youths of the Touchdown Project. Nico and I ran some drills with the kids, but before the big game, we got one more surprise for them. So Nicole and myself, along with the Marleys, have gotten you some gears today as a bit of a surprise. So I want to see you actually suit up. <laughs> Everybody got their gear? This is very, very important. Let me tell you something about football. You look good, you play good. Don't get yourself looking good right now. Go on. I look good, look good, look good. All right, two teams. Me could be the captain of the green team, and I'll lead the yellow team. Wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute. I'm rusty. Go yellow. And speaking about looking good in your uniform, ready. There you go. I might be just a bit rusty. Hey, <laughs> They're gonna send you back in the locker room like that. <laughs> Put your pants <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, 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 they all unorganized, we organize, we play as a team, we all want professional, professional, we got uniforms now. Yeah, that's it. What do you say, Capo? Please be Tails. Yeah! It's game time! Three, nine, two, hot, hot! Set! Green 19! Hit! Hit! Oh! Oh! Free throw! Yeah! 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 Well done! Oh! Unlucky! Now that was a lot of fun. And of course you won. <laughs> He's had a career day in one day. Very good, very good. That was what we call a tip drill. <laughs> so put everybody's hands in the middle here. Hands in the middle. We'll go one, two, three, JC. One, two, three, JC! After sharing some moves with the kids, time to share our stories with our teams. So my son and I, Nico is born in Haiti. I'm born here in Jamaica. I left here when I was 12 years old, right? And when I was here in Jamaica, I never knew anything about football. Never saw a game in my life. I got to America, and I started to play the game by playing video games, like learning from video games. I started taking a liking to the game. I started to want it to play every day. And obviously, every day, we don't have a, the, the facility, right? So at home, I play in the streets. I play with my friends because I love it, and I want to become greater, right? We started the same, what grade? Four and fifteen. Right, we started the same age as you guys, right? You don't have to play the game from your young boy or young, no. But what you have to do, you have to have passion for the game and want to learn the game. When you have that desire now, you take the time and then you become determined to become a great athlete because this is a sport, right? And just like track and field, just like you have your Usain Bowls, just like you have your great reggae boys. What the key, though, in to become a great athlete, right, is repetition, right? 
Repetition and practice and focus. It's all about skills. Learning to run around, learning how to line up, learn how to move off the ball, learn how to get in your stance. Just learning the game, getting familiar with the game, and start to develop the passion for the game. Then you come out here, you take the quarterback, Quarter, let's throw around, throw around the ball. Every day, you gotta play. Every day, you gotta play. So what you're doing now, you're giving yourself an opportunity, right? To, to take yourself to another level, get a scholarship. You can go abroad and help your family, you know, education, you know what I mean? What works well together is your books and your sports, right? Study because it's not just running around. You got to learn plays because it's a team sport, right? 11 on each side and each man has a responsibility. So that's when you learn in the classroom about being responsible, being responsible for your teammates. So you got to put the two together, right? It may look a long way, but it's really not that far away. But right now, y'all good, man. Just keep learning. If you like it, though, you know what I'm saying? Don't, do, don't, don't never do anything you don't like. No. Only if you like it. If you love, love it, it. something else, too. Yeah, to be it, you got to live it, you know what I mean? Just when you, like I tell you, walking down the hallway, you see somebody coming, you put a move on them. That's in your mind, you know? It's like you're walking down the hallway and there's somebody walking next to you. Catch a ball over him. That's in your mind, <laughs> you know? So that's the game. And then you start seeing that translate on the field, you know what I'm saying? So thank you, man. And, and anything you need from myself, I'm always going to be available to you guys. Seeing, because I'm an ambassador, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to help you because I played the game, right? So let's break one time. Let's go, everybody. Always so we're going to line order. One, two, three, line order, all right? One, two, three. Line order! All right. So wait a second. One more thing, though. I know y'all hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got some lunch. Let's go some lunch. Come on. You know, today what happened was um, I had a chance to return to my youth. How I started the game, I started playing something like this. It was like a PE exercise. And I started to understand the game. So I feel like these guys, you know. So I was having that much fun because we were once like these guys. And I noticed that they were getting better and better as we played. Like, if they did this every day, they'll be great because they can fly, they can jump, and they're, I mean, they can play the game. It just inspired me just seeing how driven they were and how excited they were and happy they were to be a part of this. And I see them taking full advantage of it. Everybody was having fun, but it was more than just fun to them. I think they understood the capabilities of what it has potential sure. to be. Oh, it's amazing because um, I always I thought that we had great athletes. I mean, there's a lot of Jamaicans playing in the league, you know, myself, Nico, footballers in America, a lot of Jamaican descendants, a lot of island Caribbean descendants. So it's just great to see that our, here in Jamaica, which we have never had in organized football, anything, to see that with Zachary and Nicole, what they're doing, it's just a beautiful thing with the Touchdown Project. And I'm glad to be a part of it, you know what I mean? It's just, it's exciting for me because I know how strong Jamaicans are and how fast they are and the determination that we have as Jamaicans. <laughs> I see a lot of champions. Well, actually, I'm glad it's over because I think I've pulled a muscle in my back. <laughs> I haven't thrown a football in maybe 30 years. <laughs> and you know what the end result is? The W. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it was a good time. Um, you know what I mean? The green team should have won. I think there was a little biased refereeing you over there. Me? Coach it wasn't about Big. It wasn't. It, 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 for him. <laughs> but I definitely wanted no, to No, no, no. No, we wanted to win, like I said. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't thrown a football in here. I'm not going to do this. He's jumping up and swinging his arms. So, hey, what are you doing? Like, why no, are you, no, 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 no. I'm trying to, trying to assist you on the way down. I'm but telling you, you I'm but trying to why? catch you. Why are you huh? trying to catch him? Well, old? I mean, you was just in the air. I have and I was gonna, to. You know what? I was going to come make a play on the ball, but you I know have, what? I have I ability. Said, I said, you know what? Let me save him. He doesn't, let he doesn't need me. Let me save him. Well, he don't want this pressure from me right now. So I wanted to save him, assist him on the way down. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Like he say, back pull and all that. Oh, you know, yeah. it's a, a, little, a little fragile at this moment. So I wanted to assist him. You know what I get? A busted nose, a little eye thing. And I said, oh, all right, man. cool. All right, all so right. that's how we moving. Truth. <laughs> excuses, excuses, excuses. <laughs> After the break, farewell party at the house. It's the final day of our trip around Jamaica. This morning, I picked up my son from the airport. We went to Spanish Town, we played football, and now it's time for us to have a little party. Blues away. I give thanks to Nico for being with I on this special day. All night and all day, Rasta takes I blues away. I want to big up all my extended family. We have been living this journey together, and it was a blessing to have them around, starting with my brethren, Marlon. My highlight in this trip I would have to say it was stushing the bush. 
I really enjoyed the food there, the whole ambiance of, you know, that farm to table situation. That was really my highlight because the food was excellent. Just being out there in the bush, going into the farm, seeing where the things were planted, actually digging up, and that was really my highlight. You know, I really enjoyed that a lot. Dwight is really an outstanding person for what he's doing and how he's moving forward. I really, really love what he's doing at Source Farm, but he's not only doing it at Source Farm, but he's bringing it out more to the general public by having this farmer's market where you can get all of these great vegetables and stuff to buy. Also, another highlight was Ruan dancing in the dance because, you know, you've never ever seen Ruan dancing in the dance or dancing anywhere like that and really getting into it, learning dance moves, moving with the crowd, and, you know, just being himself, Ruan. That was another highlight. For <laughs> well, Gosh, man, Jeez. Driving is another thing, because you know, Ron and I don't sit eye to eye at all times about the driving. Marlon, why would you speed up in the corner? There's something always. Marlon, you're not using this truck, man. Shifting the gear right. Okay, no, but. Or something. Watch this hole. But that's Ro, and that's me, and we just. You're following Jeep. <laughs> We'll go back and forth forever about the same thing because. Not only did where you get your license, why are you following a GPS in Jamaica anyway? Who does that? You're Jamaican. I think I'm a great driver. And he thinks he's a great driver. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You couldn't turn around. <laughs> you really couldn't turn around. <laughs> go, Marlon. Go, 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 go. Where's Wildman? Where's Wildman? Taking care of the wild and fire as usual. First of all, kill fully, all are ill fully. Yeah, and you should know a wild man from wild land. Yeah, man, up a Sherry's farm. And yes, yeah, so the river there, really great. And the jumping. <laughs> You see, on the front. Yeah. You see, I was diving. Yeah, we never want to stop, yeah? I didn't need to go to the next bigger water. But what happened? The rain and the place gets so chilly. I got to change and, yeah, I couldn't go. <laughs> you see me, but you see, you wear the pudding cell fast, innit? You can't get it cold. You get it hot, all that stick up in your top. I am out. <laughs> Yeah, man, put layouts, my brother. Yes, cool. man, old fashioned style. The light in the sky, oh, it's open wide. The presence is great. Does all the fit life goes on? Black fire, always blessing us up with fresh fish. Giac, big up yourself, my brother. You didn't see much in the series, but Comrade was always there all the time in the shadows watching over the crew. Ah, the moment I'm talking about, it's a moment I have my son around you guys. We're having a good time, and he was like, Daddy, it's the first time I've been on camera. First time I've seen all these things happening. Ah, I felt so good for him. And it was good time spending around all you guys, working together. So hope you guys have a good time around me. I may be giving a little trouble now and then. <laughs> it's not fucking funny. I hope it's not anything to bother anyone or why. But good time. Love it. Love you guys. And of course, there's no party without Bali. <laughs> you never know. I mean, like, the Blue Mountains, the stories, the hardship, I mean, like, the pain, the sorrow. Bro. I mean, as cheesy as they would say, I mean, I was just a fucking natural mystic blowing through the hill. You, you can't pay for that shit. Sorry, no. Did you... This is what this is what we live for. This is where our heart resonates. This is where love resonates. Every tree, every plant. This is what this is what it's all about. It's not really like that thing. You know, we have a relationship between all of us, you know. It's Roy, it's Steve, it's Kim, it's Sita, it's Z. You know, we all have our own integral relationship. It's our own ecosystem. And we like who we like around us. Who I bring is comfort in. The one just like who they bring around. You can never really explain that. Those things are, you know, they play themselves out. I love the vibration of creating. Every day we're on, it's not a set. Yeah, it's not like, you know, like we're not thinking, we're like, that one falls into the next one. This one, it's not really a thinking like that. It's like, how do we all flow together? <laughs> and now, Josephi. What's the name of the track again? Should I? Joe, here's the song, bro. My spiritual brother. 
Master of Ceremony. My greatest highlight was the persecution of my character. They set me up. Breathe. Were you at yoga today, Joe? <laughs> they set me up. They got the fat man Buddha God over here going against athletes, ex athletes. I mean, I'm an ex athlete, but I'm 60 pounds heavy. So give them 40. I'll give them 30, and I bet you I get them. Not half of what I am. Sound fair? But that was a great highlight moment. People were waiting, my friends that told them about it. They was like, yo, when is the episode? I gotta see it. You guys were doing a contest against? I said, they got me, yeah. The Buddha God was out there, the fat man. Scoop was doing the splash. They had me wobbly on my leg. But it was, it was a moment for me. And, you know, just being in the ocean, I miss being able to just surf. Stay tuned for the grand finale. Let's go, run the tr Yay! Let's resume our program and enjoy our final party, shall we? It's Tough Gang Live now. And we'll say, the original Dennis Brown, now we have Naomi Cohen, see? Cohen, as hey. you'd say, yes indeed. Should I have faith in you? Should I put my trust in you? Yes, sir. And should you let me down? Uh -huh. Should I flirt around? Uh -huh. Why should I think this way? Thinking that you're going away. There ain't no way we'll stay together anymore. Am I to go on now? Living this way. Acting like a child so young and gay. Watch it now. <laughs> so you don't you know why would this to be wrong? <laughs> so you don't you know how it feels to be wrong? Oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You know, listen, by the way, just so you know, it's not all the time she do this, but for Lion G, Earth Strong. Well, that night was just a regular yard vibes night, a Jamaican night where we just hung out with friends and we try to just enjoy the moment and not worrying about our stress and problems, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I saw you guys and I was like, yo, I have to make you full joy the whole moment. Because that's memories, you know? It was a magical moment, you know, because we run. Son of Bob Marley, you know? Him visiting my place is like, you know, Prince visiting the other Prince's place, you know? It's a wonderful moment, and um, Ron is a fun-loving guy, you know? You have to love him. His vibes and energy, everything is just up. Big up, baby G. <laughs> Thank you. Now, back to regular program, Nomi. Put on some other well, Everybody has to give it up for Ron. Ah, oh, fuck that. <laughs> Can I say something nice? I'm going to say something nice. No one you have to give it up to me. No, no. Nobody's going to give it up to me because at the next minute they give it up to me, I'm going to fucking roar. OK, well, don't. <laughs> well, no, I'm going to say something. No, I'm right? Just, right, no, I'm say something. Say so. I just moved back to Jamaica from Toronto in May. And the reason why I moved back was because of legacy. Legacy. That was a word in my mind and in my heart. Sure. So I was like, reggae is my legacy, and Jamaica is part of that. See, one thing I admire about you is that the work you've done, and I've seen that you've done. I'm doing, doing not done. I doing, not continuing done. to do, yeah, sure. is Go not ahead. only carrying on legacy, but diversifying that. That's very remarkable, because a lot of people will stay in a comfort but zone. But guess what? It's no comfort zone for me, because I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined my moment. I, no, but you know Yeah, what? you know what I mean? No, no but true, seriously, true. no, no yes, it's, it's legit, legit. Rastafari, right. It's true ones and ones, you know what I mean, to my brethren and thing where, I learned certain discipline, right? The thing I love about when you talk about determination and legacy, you must know the root of what is it that you're doing. You right. See it? So like you come to your root again, you tap into your soul. I'm gonna give thanks to my brethren then because without you know, my brethren, my son, my friends, and all my friends and loved ones, brothers and sisters, you know, I'm just trying, said we, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We're Gongites and we forever go. Upward. <laughs> that's him, that's his roots. That's why he is who he is. And it helped him. And you see it in every in everything he does, everywhere he moves, how he treats people and 
I really is, because he come from real beginnings, humble beginnings. When you go back there, they see the real love. I was happy for him to go back and see it and talk to the people. And, you know, I hope, I hope we go more, I hope we see more. And as for me, the experience was just, it was magical. And that's and that's what it is, it's real life. That's what he did, you know what I'm saying? So it, he, he was always, he was always, he was always wrong money. Never change. So I ain't go back, people really see it. Just like we went, and we just pulled up. It wasn't like we telling them, hey, yeah, hey, no, we just pulled up on them. And that's how, and that's how, oh, Rowan's here talk, you know what I'm saying? Kind of something you see in the movies. But it's real life. It's on TV, but it's real life, bro. <laughs> it's bittersweet, but the endings lead to new beginnings, and their journey never really ends. But we have ever living life. I feel blessed for every single minute I got to spend traveling around this beautiful island, meeting new people, learning, laughing, feeling the vibe, the music, and I'll cherish these memories for a long, long time. There's a natural vibration in Jamaica, something you can't really explain, but you can definitely feel. I hope the world will get to see Jamaica for what it really is. The natural beauty, the sustainability, the land, the culture. We Jamaicans are proud people, competitive people, but we're also passionate and we love to love. So I give thanks to the most high, Ja Rastafari. Respect. And thank you, man. You guys have been excellent. I mean, it's bittersweet. And I, and I just want to see it keep building, you know, because a great, I mean, I get, we get the goosebumps talking. <laughs> it's a good thing and we're happy. I'm happy with to work with you guys. You know what I mean? And thank you. Thank See? you. Respect, man. Respect. Respect. Oh, man, it should have been the last day for us. <laughs> <laughs> See? Hey, Joseph, take a picture of us. Brothers, can we take a team picture together? to one.